Over the last year, the San Jose Police Department has had a year unlike any other, in part due to the pandemic, but also drawing in national attention for their response in the wake of the George Floyd protest last summer. A new report from the city's independent police auditor shows an increase in police misconduct complaints in 2020. The report reveals over 2,200 complaints were filed regarding police conduct, and more than 2,000 of those complaints were regarding the actions of police officer Jared Yuen, which were caught on video. A lot of people called our office uh, in um, May 31st and the weeks following, and a lot of people called IA, but a lot of people complained about the same thing. So even though we had about, you know, 2,200 people calling, a lot of people are calling about the same conduct. And that's why you see a lot of concerns, but relatively few formal complaints. The city's civilian police watchdog tallied and reviewed a total of 269 police complaints last year. Complaints ranging from excessive force, officers not wearing face coverings, and officers failing to follow appropriate policy procedures. A separate report shows 41 complaints were initiated within the police department in 2020, down from 50 in 2019, the second lowest department initiated investigations in the last five years. Of the 41 DIIs, 102 sworn employees were involved compared to 54 in 2019. The total number of allegations tied to these 41 investigations was also up significantly to 210 compared to 102 in 2019. The reason for this anomaly could be tied to one complaint which involves 73 department members and 148 of the total year's allegations. One key recommendation made by the city's independent police auditor is to create a system where an administrative investigation is initiated when an SJPD officer is named in a civil misconduct related lawsuit. Currently, the department does not have a system that initiates an administrative investigation when officers are named in civil lawsuits. Ever since the IPA was created, we've always been um, put into a process where we have to ask the sergeant to ask the officer a question, and we can't ask a direct question. So that will change starting July 1st, 2021. And over the course of the next year, we will see how, um, how these changes may benefit the process.